Hello everyone. How are you all? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to have a session on how to make our child read. So this is a pre-training process for make them to how to read. So let's get started. I'm going to share you seven simple tips to train your kids to read the right way. These tips are going to be very useful for your child to start reading. First step: phonic sounds of English alphabets. Second is to read with the sounds. Third is to introduce two and three letter words first. Step four is introduce sight words. Step five. Introduce vowels and consonants. Step six: Teach magical E concept. Step seven: Repeat reviewing. Step two, three, four, six. So for the step one, that is phonic sounds. So uh, to train your kids on phonic sounds. It is very very important for all the children before they start reading. Once they know the alphabets, they must be taught the alphabets along with the sounds. Once they know the phonic sounds of each alphabets, I'll be sharing you the link for the below video in the description box. Do check it out. It is the video for the kids to get trained. You can directly play the video for the kids to get them trained on phonic sounds. There comes. second and third step that is read with sounds and the third is to introduce them second that is two and three letter words so to start with this they must be very familiar with the phonic sounds do check out the video and train them you can see that the red fonts are two letter words and the green are three letter words so to train them on these you have to tell them how to read two letter words that is at at so once they know this two letter word they'll be reading k at cat f at fat likewise the second word that is a t at so the next is at hat b at but same for it sit fit at at p at pet likewise and there is another example i p ip sip lip a b ab cup hub tub in in pin tin ot ot pot cot make them read you have to tell them ot ot p ot pot like that so there comes our step 4 so we have to introduce them the sight words sight words are the words which they must recognize when they see it So some words they cannot uh, read it just with the phonic sounds or with some other sound with some concepts. Sight words has to be remembered when they see it. So you have to make some flash cards on these sight words and introduce them all these and also you can try out some activities to make them remember and play with them so that they remember each words easily. So when they just see okay this is from first so when they see the card they have to know the word i have shared you an activity in my channel itself i will share the link in the below description box so from this session i would like to tell you that when you when your child turns to 2 years at least when they start speaking just mildly you have to make them understand the phonic sounds they have to say the phonic sounds of each and every alphabets once they do it they can be introduced 
maybe after six months once they are very familiar with the phonic sounds you can introduce them the words to make them read with the sounds and later with the sight words and later the introduction of vowels and consonants once your child is very familiar with the phonic sounds and start to read with the phonic sounds that is two letter and three letter words and you introduce them side words once they are very familiar with the side words somehow they are able to read some words it's perfect you can start them introducing vowels and consonants as they are very familiar with the alphabets so they can tell them that these are the vowels and these are the consonants once they come to know the vowels and consonants the difference there comes the sixth step you can introduce them the e magical concept i'll share you a video on e magical concept you can make them play the video and train them accordingly so once they understand the magical e concept they will be able to read some four letter words that will be easy for them to read based on the concept they learn from it so then comes the seventh step so that is seventh step is nothing but you have to keep repeating and reviewing these steps that is second third and fourth and sixth steps so these steps has to be repeated and reviewed that is they have to be revising these so that they are very familiar and comfortable to start reading so the last but not the least this is the bonus tip i would like to share you train the phonic sounds with action it will be very easy for them to get trained even if they are not very comfortable with the sounds to pronounce it that is in the younger age so when they learn it with the actions they are comfortable to understand the sound and repeat it it will be easy for them to pick it up so this is my time to leave we'll meet you again with another interesting video soon until then take care bye bye do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos